make the content for those people that want to see it, and the ones that don't want to see it, you didn't make it for them anyway. Right. What is up, Fabrication Nation? So as you know, it is that time of year. It is vacation season. So I take the family on vacation, went to the coast, down to uh, Fripp Island. Sniffing the golf carts earlier. Place is super crazy. It's got it's got like these this herd of tame deer, which is so not normal. Never been around deer where you can just walk up to them or drive by them and they don't really care that you're there. Not really sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So that was a good time at the beach. Actually, the family's still there. I came back early. I got stuff that I got to do, but cool place. While I was down that way, I actually uh, managed to hook up with Beef Brody of Tactical Baby Gear. So, here at Tactical Baby Gear, and I got a podcast with the one and only Beef Brody. Does it make me an alcoholic if I'm drinking before noon? I'm, I'm asking for a friend, I'm asking for a friend. And a few times I like mix them up, I'm yeah. like, the M5, and it was actually the M50, and people love to let me know yeah. comments. Well, I love that video, that's a great video. That I fucked that's up. That's what made me buy the one I got. Oh really? Yeah. That that video kills it for me, that's one of my, that's like my number one video, but I don't, I don't want to create content yeah. like that. I'm with you, I feel you. Anyways, all right. <clears throat> Let's get this thing started. I made I made like 70 bucks last year off affiliate links. Nice. Yeah, dude, I'm killing it. Hey. I'm ki I'm hey. basically a full-time YouTuber. This is what I'm <laughs> it, it, it's free. I guess, Kyle. How do you think that went? I think it went amazing. What any big main takeaways from that? Their headquarters are right there in Hilton Head. And so it was only like an hour drive, so I made that happen. Drove down there, hung out with Beeve all day. We talked about growing on social media, and then just all the things around business. I've said it before on this channel, there's nothing really I love more than hanging out with like-minded people and just being able to like bounce ideas and you know, get some of that, get some of those creative juices flowing, you know? What are some of the struggles that you faced along the way? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I'm gonna go this way. I think the biggest struggle you face on any kind of social platform, whatever it is, is your own self, it's your own mental struggles. I knew you were going to go there. Yes. Second guessing yourself? Second, one, second guessing yourself. Two, letting people affect what it is you do and how you do it. Right. right. It should never be like that. You should always do what it is you're passionate about or you believe in. Um, and even though you know that that's the beacon that you should head towards, a lot of times it, it's, it's human nature to let people affect you in a negative way. And, you know, social just social platforms in general are like the hardest. I think right. we're going through this age of kids struggling because of that. Everybody deals with it though. And when you put your life out there for everybody to see, uh, you're gonna get some criticism and you just have to learn to like focus on what it is you're there for and don't let, try not to let those things affect you. Right, they're gonna be there regardless. They're gonna be there and they're try gonna to affect overlook you. them. I don't you know what I do to haters and like the negative comments? I always like them. I do too. Just to like, as a little poke back, as a little stab, yep. like, yeah, I see you, yep. dick. Yeah, I got it. Yep. Yeah. So, it's a struggle, and no matter how strong you are, you're, it's gonna affect you in some way. And it may not be the way where like, you feel like you need to answer back to these people, but what happens is you find that it curves the content you make subconsciously. Right. You're catering to the comments. Not consciously. Subconsciously, though, you right. it tends to curve you in a way that you didn't originally mean for it to. 
totally makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you start, you're like, well, I don't want to put this out there because I'll get negative comments about it or whatever. But it's subconscious. It's you're not totally really thinking about it. You yeah. just start. I'll tell you a prime example. Shifting. I get a lot of comments about, uh, uh, you know, I just want to see the Bibster build. Well, guess what happens over time? I you, tend to want to do less vlogging or less family or less other stuff. And mm-hmm. I want to just do Bibster stuff, even though it doesn't speak. It doesn't make the frequency of Bibster build videos more frequent. I just do less videos in between. Got it. And that's a bad thing. If you get in that kind of mindset, then you're then you're hurting yourself. Right. And I kind of told you earlier, uh, the way I look at that is, um, you know, do 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 everything you do for you. What makes you happy? Make the content for those people that want to see it, and the ones that don't want to see it, you didn't make it for them anyway. Right. And. It's just, you guys have heard me say it a thousand times like find the thing that you're most passionate about do it because you love to do it yep. don't worry about what others think and eventually it'll come around and don't let them don't let them change your ways right don't let them curve what it is you want to do um what's another good question what do I've got um what I- would you what's your number one advice for somebody that wants to start a YouTube channel I think uh, the best thing to do is, so you probably hear a lot, create content, create, 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 create. There's a reason for that though, and it's because I don't think you're going to know exactly where you fit in or what you do initially, and if you wait till you figure that out, you'll never get there. So what I tell people is, put your head down, make 100 videos, Uh, what you're going to learn in those 100 videos is your style, everybody has their own style of creating content. Everybody has their own style of videos yep. and creation. But don't completely copy other people either. No. It's okay to be inspired by other people. Be inspired, but you're not... Find your... But, and it's going to take you those 100 videos yes. to figure that out. That road yeah. will shape itself. And if you do... So, like, people that make five videos and they don't get any views and they're like... They're discouraged. That sucks. I'm yeah. done with this. Well, they haven't got far enough to figure out what their style is. Um, you'll figure that out. And being comfortable in front of a camera is not an instantaneous thing. It takes time, and that's what those 100 videos are for. And then the good thing, too, is you don't looking at subscribers, you're not looking at comments, you're not looking at v- likes and views. And you can look at comments, because if you have support, it's good to kind of interact with those people. But don't be so focused on the analytics that it keeps you from creating. Make those 100 videos, and then lift your head up and kind of look to see where you're at. Cool. I love it. What are the questions you got? Anything that you were, you were going to say something? I don't remember now. No. Good though. Appreciate you having me. Of course, dude. I'll do I'll an outro here before we leave. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. I hope to get back to work next week, but you know, everybody's got to take vacation, right? I suggest you go follow Bede, go check him out. Um, that podcast should come out pretty soon on his channel. I know he had some other things he had going on, so I don't know the exact time frame, but I would think within the next week or two. You can check him out. He always has great information on his channel. Go give him a follow. You can also check out Tactical Baby Gear. Yeah, I think that's it for this week. See you guys next week. Go do work, son. Go, go on vacation, son.